Hi students, the chapter 2 is all about the mathematical language and symbol. In this chapter, we will understand the mathematical language by identifying the differences of the expression and the sentence. Also, we will identify the basic concepts of mathematical language. So the lesson one is about the expression and the sentence or the difference between the expression and the sentence. But before we differentiate the expression and the sentence, we will discuss first or differentiate, uh, differentiate first the nouns versus sentence in English language. Why? Why we need to discuss first the nouns versus sentence in English language. Yes, eh, the language of mathematics can be learned, but it requires more effort to learn any English language for us to understand more the language of mathematical ideas. So we need to discuss first the nouns versus sentence. So we have to define first what is noun and then the sentence. Noun that is used to name things we want to talk about, such as your name, the name of the place, the name of your pets, or whatsoever. So that is the use of the nouns. How about the sentence? The sentence that is used to state a complete thought. So when we say a complete thought, it means na uh, there's a noun and there's a verb. For example, is May loves mathematics. So as what you observe in our example, May and mathematics, that is the noun. And then the loves, that is the verb. So it means that the typical sentence is or having at least one noun or having at least and at least one verb in a sentence okay so that is the noun versus sentence in english language now what is the uh, what is the connections of this uh, english language into mathematical language so that is connected or the same as a, uh, the same ideas as the mathematical language. So in English language, we have here noun and the sentence. In mathematics, uh, we, uh, we have here expression and sentence. Where expression that is an arrangement of mathematical symbols used to present and expression does not state a complete thought. So it doesn't make sense if the expression is true or false. So if the statement or if the expression or if one mathematical symbol uh, state not a, or doesn't state a complete thought, then that's a, uh, that's a expression. Example, five. Five is an example of expression. And then three plus two. So it says that three is added to two only. It does not state a complete thought. Also, the example of eight plus one plus four is an, is an example of expression and five minus six. So as what you observe in this example, the mathematical symbol does not state a complete thought. If the mathematical symbol does, uh, does not state a complete thought, then that's the expression. How about the sentence? So the sentence that is like equation, it means that that is a correct arrangement of mathematical symbols that states a complete thought. So as what you observe in the English language that sentence have verbs in mathematical language, sentence is also having a verb. And ano yung verb niya dito sa ating mathematical language? The verb here is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 or the example of the sentence in mathematical symbol is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And the equal here, that is the verb in the mathematical language. Okay, so again, uh, the sentence in mathematical language that is a state, a uh, complete thought, like uh, the sentence in English language. And sentences 
like English language in mathematics language have verbs. And uh, based on our example, 3 plus 2 equal, the equal sign that is the verb in the mathematical language. So that is the expression and the sentence in the mathematical language. So if you understand this, I have here uh, some question or some items na that you have to tell if this mathematical symbol is an expression or sentence. Okay, number one, five. Do you think it is an expression or a sentence? Yes, that is an expression. How about six plus three? Okay, very good. That is an expression. Okay, next. Five plus three is equal to eight. Okay, so that is also sentence. Why? Because the mathematical symbol here in our third example is a state or a state a complete thought. Why? Because it's having a verb which is the equal sign. And alam naman natin when in mathematical language, the verb in mathematical symbol will be the equal sign. Okay, next one is 5 plus 3 is equal to 10. Yes, that is an example of sentence. Anyway, like expression, if it uh, it doesn't make sense if the statement or the mathematical symbol is a true or false. In sentence also, it doesn't make sense if it is true or false as long as it state or it um, state a complete thought, then it will be sentence. Okay? Okay, so that is our lesson one. How about in lesson number two? So in lesson number two, it is basic concepts of mathematical language where we can define the set, the relation, and then the function. So set that is a collection of this thing, well-defined objects, and that objects or a members in a set is called an element. So I have here an example. The set A is equal to or having a members or elements of A, B, C, D, E, and then so on and so forth. So we can denote a set by the capital letter A. And also we use braces and comma to list down all the elements or the members in a set. So we can conclude or we can say that A is an element of set A. B is an element of set A. C is an element of set A. D is an element of set A. Also E is an element of set A. Again, reminder, we will denote a set by any capital letter. Again, by any capital letter only and then we list down all the members using the braces and the comma. And yung tawag sa member ng isang set is called elements. Okay, I have here example. A set of negative integers. So try to think the possible members or the possible elements of a negative integers. Ano po? Okay, so I denote here negative integers as capital letter B and I list down the possible uh, elements of the negative integers and I write down here negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. So I can say that negative 1 is an element of set B which is the set B that is a set of negative integers and then negative 2 is an element of set B Negative 3 is also an, an element of uh, set B. Negative 4 is an element of set B. And also negative 5 is an element of set B where the set B that is the set of all negative integers. So that is the set. How about the relation? 
So the relation that is a set of ordered pairs where the first component that is called the domain. Again, the first component that is called the domain and then the second component that is called the range. Okay, so uh, this following or the following example or the following set of ordered pairs is the relation, again, consists of ordered pair. So I have here a set of ordered pairs, negative five and three, and then four and seven, then one and two. Also, I have here a set of ordered pairs, 11 and nine, six, negative five, three and eight. So here in our first example, the first components are negative five, four, one, or the domain. Again, the first component that is the domain. So the domain here in our first example is negative five, four, and one. And then the range here in our first example or the second component, that is the three, seven, and two. In second example naman, the domain or the first uh, component of the ordered pairs is 11, six, and three. Also the range is nine, negative five, and then eight. So that following example is the relation because they consist a set of ordered pairs. How about the function? How can we say that a function or the relation is a function or a relation is not a function? First, we need to uh, define first the function. The function is a relation which its value of the set or from the set, uh, the first component, which is the domain of the ordered pairs, is associated with exactly one value. So it means that dapat there is one exact value for the domain or there is one exact range for the domain. Okay, po? so uh, how can we say that a relation is a function or a fun or a relation is not a function? So there's a case if the relation or this is the case if the relation or we can say that the relation is a function. First is one-to-one -one relationship. What does it mean? So it means that the one domain having one exact value of range. For example, negative one, hindi siya na ulit into other ordered pairs. So it means students that one-to-one -one relationship is the domain and the range cannot be repeated to other ordered pair. For example, negative one, and then zero, and then two. And then si zero, hindi naman siya na ulit into another ordered pair for the range. Also negative three, and then negative one. So again, if there is one-to-one -one relationship, which is the domain and the range cannot be repeated, into other ordered pair or the value of the domain and the range cannot be repeated into other ordered pair, then the relation is a function. Also, we have here a second case where we can say that a relation is a function. And that case is many to one relationship. It means na um, the range can be repeated into other ordered pair. Again, the range can be repeated into other ordered pair. For example, the range is zero in our first ordered pair. So zero is repeated to the third ordered pair, which is one and zero. So this is a many to one relationship, but many to one relationship, we can say that the relation is a function. Again, we can say that a relation is a function in two cases. One is uh, about the one-to-one -one relationship. It means that the domain and the range cannot be repeated into other ordered pair. Second one is about the many-to-one relationship where the range can be repeated into other ordered pair. 
again, can be repeated into other ordered pair. The range po. How about how we, how can we say that a relation is not a function naman? So we can say that a function or that a relation is not a function when the case is one to many relationship. What does it mean? It means that the domain it cannot be repeated or if the domain is repeated into other ordered pair, then that is a one-to-many relationship. Again, if the case is one-to-many relationship, the domain is repeated into other ordered pair. Like this one, the six in the first ordered pair is repeated to the last ordered pair, which is six and negative zero. Again, we can say that a relation is not a function if the relationship is one to many relationship. What does it mean? It means that the domain is repeated into other ordered pair. Again, let's review how we can say that a function is a, a I mean, uh, how can we say that a relation is a function? Two cases yan, and that is what? That is one-to-one -one relationship. It means that the domain and the range cannot be repeated into other ordered pair. And then many-to-one relationship, it means that the range is repeated into other ordered pair. So that is the uh, function, uh, the relation is a function. And then how can we say that a function is not, or a relation is not a function? If the domain is repeated into other ordered pair. So, si 6 ay naulit into other ordered pair, which is yung nasa dulong ordered pair. Also, when it is many-to-many -many relationship, what does it mean? If the domain, also the range, is repeated into other ordered pair, then that is not really a function po. Okay? So, let's have a review or... Um, let's have a sh um, refresh if you understand more the relation or if the relation can be a function or not function. So you have to tell me if the relation is a function or not function. Ha? First is, do you think this is a function or not function? Okay, very good. That is a function and the relationship is one-to-one -one relationship. Why? Because the domain of any ordered pair and the range of any ordered pair can be cannot be repeated into other ordered pair. Okay, another one. Yes, that is a not function. Why? Because the domain 6 and the domain 5 is repeated into other ordered pair. So does it mean that the relation is not a function? Okay. Okay, so that is a function and that is one or many to one relationship. What does it mean? That the range is repeated into other ordered pair. And last is... Okay, so that is not a function, which we can see that the negative 4 or the domain negative 4 is repeated into other ordered pair. So that is the chapter to class, uh, students, the mathematical language and symbols. Hope you understand our lesson one and our lesson two. God bless. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.